Hello guys, Zeb from New Zealand. We have got iPad 12.9 inch A1670, which is second generation. Problem with the iPad is um, um, the uh, the very percent um, us that is um, repair shop. So they try to replace the screen and um, display is there, but there is no touch anymore. <coughs> so I will show you here. And I will turn it on so that you can have a look here. So we have got Apple logo, it's turning on. And but that is not working. So they wonder what has happened. I think they check the connectors or maybe done some diagnostic but they could not figure out what the problem was so it was sent here so that uh, we can have a look and as you can see it turned on and then I will just little bit pull it up so that I can press the home button home button is pressed and then see there's nothing is working nothing is working and we will Try turning it off and uh, anyway, so touch is not working. So I'm pressing the power button and it's not showing me turn off. Oh, yeah, it does see it's not even working. That's a brand new screen, so yeah. So let's see what's what went wrong, and um, I will remove the screen and then see. Uh, what's underneath and if we find out anything uh, so we have seen the um, other is turning on but the um, touch is not working and this is a new screen so we will uh, just um, remove the, the screen and then See what's wrong. It so at this stage, what I will be looking um, at first is these um, LCD and touch connectors which are here. So there is a shield on the top of it. So I will just remove, just remove it, and then see if we could find out anything, anything unusual. So I will just get the fuse. So, I don't see anything here, the connectors look so, okay, let's see under the microscope. Uh, we'll move it here under the microscope and then see if we, oh, the microscope camera is somehow stopped working and Turn it on. Hopefully, we will get. Yep. So, can you see there? Okay. So, that looks okay to me here. Wow, wow. Yep. Yeah, I can see here. See? Can you see? So this is completely gone, nothing here. So guys, uh, most probably I think they they blown the fuse. I think uh, most probably it looks like it's fuse. The way it's blown because capacitors does not blow the way this one is blown. I hope the pads are still intact so now the problem is finding the right fuse let me do some search what sort of fuse was here and then um, I will come back and then we will replace it 
So guys, I have done some search and the fuse which is blown here, it's a 450 milliamp and 120 ohms and the size is 0 to 0 01. So fortunately I have got uh, some here. And first of all, um, I will just uh, give it a clean and then we will replace I don't want to do anything much here because um, I don't have symmetric diagrams for it so if anything else is messed up then it might get a little bit difficult to do anyway so just okay Just give it a clean on the pads. One is almost. I don't want to do anything nasty here. Come on. This is. Okay, this is pretty. It's not even at 450 degrees centigrade. It's not. So I don't want to damage this. Let's. Put some low melt solder around here and then see if it well there was I don't want to break it so I'm just it's not even so I'll just leave it here. So guys, I don't want to do any much um, because that burnt part here, which is um, burnt solder. So I don't want to do anything about it. So I will just, what I will do, I will just take the filter and uh, just replace it and then I will check the lines. So, just put it here. Okay, I think you can see. Can you? Yes. Okay, I think that's, you can see that's pretty clear to you. So I will get a little bit finer cruiser so that I can hold it firmly and now I have it here. Thank you. Okay, and can you see? Yep. Move it here. Here. Yep. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? It's here. Come on. Yep. And Yeah. Yep, that looks pretty good to me, actually. So, I will now just check the connectivity if we are having a connectivity between the FPC connector and then the other side of that filter. So most probably this is the one and then 
yeah we got the line alive it's working so hopefully guys this is so i will just give it a clean so that you can have a look so i will just we have just give it give it a clean and uh, see that area looks pretty okay to me i will check the connectivity one more time and then we will install the screen and then see how it go it's all good okay let's put it back together so guys just turn it on and then oh sorry that's the shade from uh, the tube lights there but anyway there's nothing i can do maybe move it here anyway you can see so let's press the home button and then see yep okay so the problem is sorted out so now we will turn it off because we were not managed to turn it off before so hold it here and turn it off come on so guys that was a quick video about um, ipad 12.9 a uh, what's the model number a1670 that's um, second generation so the screen um, touch stopped working after the lcd was replaced and we find out that one of the fuses was blown because why fuse below um what happened that is um in one of my videos i explained why these fuses they blow so anyway if you have got this problem uh, may, um, um, the fuse uh, that was 450 milliamp 120 ohms and that is 0201 that's the size of the fuse because you might not find in symmetric diagrams or something but this is um, just for your knowledge and as I told you before, uh, we offer logic board repair courses in New Zealand. And uh, we are quite busy. There are lots of um, people who came here and learn and uh, they are doing very well. So if you are interested in one of our logic board repair courses, I will leave a link. If you want to learn these sort of micro soldering. So thank, thanks for watching and uh, bye.